The end of an era. An era filled with lots of glory and demise. Lots of high points and recently nothing but downward trajectory. This is the story of a man whose life was consumed with only work and attention. I am so happy! No more bad shows for me on Undisputed. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I forgot about you, didn't you? He's a different animal. Right. Um, you know, and there are highs and lows that come with him. Correct. Listen, I I'm not one to kick a man when they're down. I, I, I can't because, like, I think it's outright just insensitive, unnecessary, and just, you know, just, just not needed. But that's what Skip has done his entire career. Way better than you were. I'm better Way than you. Better. Skip, what are you I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, when for I, don't, I don't take yeah. personal oh, shots. You time started time it. Time out. And Lord knows that it is going to take all the red blood cells that I have. My doctor told me I have a lot, dude. <laughs> from going off the rails. And Skip in this video. I should morph into a kickboxer. And kick him while he's down. But I'm better than that. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm, I'm a complicated asshole. But before I continue, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. All right, let's get on with the video. You see, Skip has an entire laundry list of people who have despised him in his own industry throughout his entire career. Whether it's with renowned NFL writer Woody Page. Uh, I was tired of Skip Bayless said, I've had more sex than Woody's ever even thought about. <laughs> this is on live TV, right, Woody? Yeah. So I got up and I went over and I started choking him. That, that, that was foul. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I have more sex than you do. <laughs> Aubrey Graham activity right there. I mean, like, it just screams insecurity. Like, it, I feel like Skip Bayless goes to nude beaches with a ruler in his hand. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting off track. But that was back in the day. And then we all saw how he went at it with Stephen A. Smith and how they ended their tumultuous, glorified run at ESPN at first take. Oh, yes, 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 oh, no, yes. No, 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 you're going too Don't far. get me you're started. You're going too far, no. Skip. You're going too far. I'm Johnny not. Pippen is all time. Hey, let me just. How can both of us be that way? Come to Mr. Baseless. Be good, oh, be creative. Oh, no, Okay, be creative. Right. And then most recently with Shannon Sharp. Go to Shannon Sharp um, and how they've gone back and forth recently over the past couple of years, honestly. Because that's you, what you do. If you stay on point on question. You never stay on point. Okay. I'm I about to stay on point. You know, you're not yep. going to get on point until yep. I'm done talking. Okay, all right. That's right. You see, Bayless joined ESPN full-time in 2004 as part of ESPN's 2 Cold Pizza. Then in 2007, the show was rebranded as First Take, where Bayless went on against multiple ESPN personalities over the years until Stephen A. Smith arrived in 2012. And like, as you guys may know, over the years, Skip has not just only been going at it at his own colleagues in the ESPN world. You know, he's been also going at it with players, professional athletes, you know, people who they'll whoop them up and down the street. He still went at them, personally took personal jab shots, Gotcha, dude. <laughs> Something like that. And you know, some players, some notable players that he went at it against was against Terrell Suggs, Charles Barkley. I mean, you know, there's a laundry list, a scroll of a list, mind you, of people in the sports room who despise this man. But you see, it takes, I don't want to say talent. It takes a marketing genius to get where Skip got. He has talent in that regard. He's a marketing genius. He knows how to get his name on the paper. He knows how to get underneath your skin. Like he just, he's this type of guy. He's been doing it for decades. And over the years, he became known as the guy as the, the hot takes guy, the hot takes guy. Tebow has become the most polarizing athlete in the history of American sports. He would say something to get a reaction. There's a scientific term behind that, but you know what, I'm a buffoon. He did that over the years. He knew how to melt the average sports fanatic brain. Dating back to when he was a freaking local reporter and he called Troy Aikman, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, his Dallas Cowboys apparently, he called him gay. Which, you know, shook up the NFL landscape back then. I'm sure a lot of people had heard it before that Troy is gay. Now I've talked to Troy about it. I have never heard, I have never heard that. Out. This is a Time man. Out. But jumping to the present, gotta live in the present, dude. You know what I mean? 
Last year marked the second summer, the second consecutive summer, that one of the main characters of his undisputed program has left him out in the dust. As we all know that Shannon Sharp left following the NBA Finals last year and he went to go join ESPN, his former company. Since then, it's been a rotation of panelists who have been replacing Shannon Sharp, whether it's Keyshawn Johnson, Michael Irvin, Richard Sherman, Rachel Nichols, love Rachel Nichols, uh, DC native, uh, Paul Pierce, but none of them really captured the audience as well as Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp did over the year. None of them were actually as entertaining as those two were over the years because those two were together for seven years. You see, dude, I did some research. Shannon Sharp leaving was one of the main reasons why Skip Bayless' show, Undisputed, started tanking a bit. Skip Bayless and company started saying, well, that the, their lead-in show, the Craig Carton show, they're not really put up the impressing rating numbers, which means that before their show started, Undisputed, Craig Carton was bringing in a little bit of the audience. It's a small chunk. But even then, Skip Bayless got rewarded in 2021 a four-year $32 million contract, which is insane. That's as much, almost as much as Caleb Williams' contract that he got as the being the first overall pick in the NFL draft. Let that sink in, please. There it is. With no music, acapella, Skip. bam. Skip. I did a cold turkey on cue and that will fly. And he did it while spewing out buffoonery in the ecosystem. And one side, it has to be applauded. <laughs> Business marketing genius. He knows how to do it. He knows how to get ratings. He knows to catch your attention. In the other side, he never was really analytical. He never was really the sports analyst. You don't ever use facts. You don't ever use substance. You don't, don't ever, ever use, use facts. No. That's all I use on this show. You see, like I said earlier, Bayless arrived in Fox Sports in 2016 following 12 years at ESPN. In Fox Sports, what they wanted to do and what they promised Bayless to do is that they will build a debate show around Bayless's persona. And that's what they did. But they failed to duplicate the success when Shannon Sharp left. Then the viewership struggle started to persist, as it was noted that recently, as of recently, he drew 50,000 viewers in a late February episode. For Undisputed, a major company with top tier equipment everywhere. Uh, it probably took them $50,000 just to record that freaking episode. Maybe I'll fail, maybe we will fail, but we're going to try. If this does not only follow Skip Bayless on Undisputed. I mean, like th this, this plague followed him after work, after work hours. <laughs> you see his YouTube channel. He has his own YouTube channel, dude. Look at the views. Look at the view counts on his videos. 692 views. With that sub count that you have on your channel, you can upload a video of you brushing your cat's teeth and that will garner more views. You like you have 100k subs, but 692 views. Those are my type of numbers. Those are the numbers I am putting up. But what was the final nail in the coffin? Was the Damar Hamlin one where he tweeted this that was really insensitive during a time in which a player almost lost his life. And then on top of that, he rebuted that with this, a sorry ass apology. I apologize for what we're going to set out to do here today if it offends anyone later bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet no clearly the bosses wanted you to offer explanation so clearly somebody no they did problem. not have the, nobody let's go jay the only thing i want to say clearly in my opinion this is just my opinion dude what happened with skip bayless the entire world just got tired of him they got tired of his buffoonery they got tired of him being stubborn ego that's the size of a hot air balloon they just got tired of him. And he never evolved. He never, he just never matured, honestly. And that's a lot coming from a guy who's 30 years old and a guy who's 72 years old. He never did. The ego, that's the death of some people. You know, it's a lesson well learned for up and coming creators. I guess, you know, one thing that I keep on thinking about is that you have to remain humble and grounded at all times. And throughout my content creating journey, you know, I just keep on cementing that. Whether I become big or if I stay small like I am now. 
Always remain humble, diligent, and hungry. And he left that about 40 years ago. So I'm a big believer in learning from other people's mistakes as well as your own. And, you know, hopefully people can look at this and see, okay, this is something that you do not do. Apparently even news came out that ESPN themselves said that they didn't even want him back in the vicinity of their own building. He's not coming back to ESPN. He is 72 years old. Dude, retire. You made enough money. Pick up a new hobby. Do voiceovers for telenovelas. Just, just know that it's over. And come to peace with that. He had a lot of success, but doing it his own way. A way that I didn't really agree with. It is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Until next video, until next report. Peace, y'all. Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi, 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 Kawhi Leonard! <laughs>